So, welcome back, people, to MG Sports TV. We're going to touch on a... Uh, what can I, how should I say this topic is? A thought-provoking topic. And I know for a fact that many persons will not like this video. And there's going to be a lot of detractors in the comment section. And because you have people who realize that they watch the video and they listen to reply <laughs> but not to understand and they're so hastily trying to get themselves or get their get their thoughts out there sometimes they don't really think about what they're trying to say but definitely that's how it is this video in particular surrounds the two baileys leon bailey and and bailey kadamatari now what does this video really really mean and what does it signify now as you see the title the title is going to surround al grimson lesson learned the big question is the lane bailey situation and the bailey kadamater situation what did him here al grimson learn from those two situations this is good. This I'm gonna touch on each one of them. I'm gonna just say some stuff regarding each one of them, and I want you to tell me what your thoughts on each one of those situations and what you think Algrims would have learned from those situations and if he, they, he could have handled it a little bit better. So, before we do that, please go in the comment section, you know, tell us your thoughts. Also, hit the like button, very, very important. It's very crucial that you do so and if you're joining for the first time first first time you're seeing this channel seeing this platform i would ask you to hit the subscribe button and become a family if you can join the membership no problem at all that definitely helps um you can also paypal us a coffee yeah we'll take we'll definitely take that as well but massive massive respect to you all now we're going to touch on the bailey cardamatory situation first and what would Al Grimson or what have Al Grimson learned from that situation? Now, <clears throat> I know most of you might not might disagree to this, but what I want to, before I get into the Bailey Cadamatory thing, I want you to listen, people, just listen, listen keenly. Oh, us as fans, we think totally different from coaches. From what Al Grimson is thinking, many of us as fans were not thinking like that. So, as fans, we might say, boy, Bailey Kadamati has time so he can come when he's ready. But what if, just what if the coach is saying, based off what happened, that is it for me. And I certainly have to do better in regards to what happened the last time. So, get that out of the way. Fans and coaches don't think the same. <laughs> Fans and coaches don't think the same. And even some of us who think, or say we're analysts, coaches totally different because I spoke to Al Grimson and when he said something to me, I mean, like, oof, never, I really wasn't even looking, it, looking at it that way. I was looking at it through a fan's perspective and also through maybe my perspective or an analyst perspective, you know, try to cut it. But when I heard his ideas on it, I'm like, whoa, it's vastly different. From both fans, our analysts, our pundits. So let's get straight to the Bailey Kadamater um, situation now. Remember, this is not the first time Al Grimson would be naming a new player to his team sheet that this player will be playing for us at what such and such time. So squad has been announced. It's not the first Al Grimson is announcing a squad, a new player, a new face to the team, and that player turned up. But this time around, something went horribly wrong. Grimson lists Bailey Kadamatri on his team on his on his squad list, and the following day England did the same. So, for for Kadamatri in the U19s, so Kadamatri got called for two camps: Jamaica senior team, England U19, and he opted to choose England U19. Now, one that would also I like to. Um, Al Grimson, the stress or the struggles of the nations that we are competing with where players are concerned. 
our diaspora is huge in England. Huge. And where quality players are concerned, it's big. But it would have definitely showcased Al Grimson the difficulty getting some of these players, especially when, as I said, leak information is going, people are leaking information that, hey, we're looking at this player, we're looking at that player. And by, by, by a thing twice, England is on to that player, calling that player for various things, some friendlies or whatever. Why? Because it's a dog damn dog world out there where players are concerned. Everyone wants the best player in their team. And so says and, and so said said same is said to Al Grimson. He wants the best players in his team. But no you know he would have entered into the dark world where the player recruitment is concerned. Even when you get the go ahead from the player that we are good. Add me to the squad list. It seems, have to be, it seems going to be the case now where even moments before the squad announcement, Al Grimson's going to have to start calling these players for reassurance. You are good. You are with us. Are we okay to publish your name? Is there any issue? Because for that name to be published on the squad list, Affirmation, reassurance, confirmation must have took place before it was published. He must have given the coach some insight that, hey coach, good to go, I'm ready. And then boom out of nowhere, the player switch in mind. Why the player switch in mind? I think that's down to the player himself. And where he choose and what, which team he choose to play for. But this Kadamatari situation would have been something that Al Grimms would have learned from where player recruitment is concerned, um, whereas reassurance from the players are concerned, and also the challenges between the Federation and, and, and English FA in battling for players. So these would have been the lessons learned. So I do believe that going forward from here, Al Grimson maybe acquiring a player, I don't think much people are going to know about it. I don't think it's going to come out public. <laughs> I really don't think so. Or maybe you're going to see a name pop out out of nowhere where Al Grimson maybe I try to test to see if there's a leak or try to find out if there's a leak. So push out a name out there, probably to a particular amount of personnel. Say, no, let's see where this goes. <laughs> let's see where this goes. And then now, maybe you will be able to catch up on the leak. But he said that's an in-house matter. But anyways, where Bill Kadamart is concerned, those would have been the lessons Algrims would have learned. Now, where Leon Bailey's situation is concerned, maybe where suspension is concerned, first, everyone knows about the suspension. Secondly, the big aspect of the call in the morning, the early morning phone call. That was something where changed the dynamics of things. Maybe that early morning call would have been to mend things. Unless, you know what, we're, we're in a desperate situation right now. Let's come, let, um, Leon Bailey, let's come and play. So maybe, if Al Grimson knew what you knew, no. He would have not made that phone call. And, st and stuck by his decision. And stuck by his decision. Just, just maybe. He would have not made that phone call and stuck by his decision. So that's definitely one lesson Al Grimson would have learned. Secondly, our grims would have learned now who Leon Bailey is and what he's about. Also learn about his agent, who is it, who is, and what he's about. And now that opens Al Grimson's eyes to other players in the camp, said, okay. So if this is what's gonna happen, and the entire world is gonna know about what we're trying to do in house. Maybe I'm going to have to do things a little bit different. It's, it's going to be a, a case of they're maybe going to find them. I don't think so. Or maybe just don't call her back. <laughs> and that's it. You just don't hear a name repeated again. And maybe that's the case. So these are things Al Grimms would have learned through a time period of being here. Especially just last the last two games. From the squad announcement up until the finishing of the games. These are lessons. 
So I do believe that when he, he dropped the suspension, maybe he thought that it would have gone a little bit smoother. But injuries kind of derail it. But that's how it is sometimes. But here goes to show that when you make a decision, make sense stand by that decision. Make sense stand by that decision. So that definitely is part is lessons learned by him or Al Grimson. Anyways, people, tell us in the comment section what you think. Um, what you think about um, um these aspects of what Al Grimson would have learned over the time period. And tell us what would you you would have done if you were in Al Grimson's position. What would you have done? Would you be embarrassed about the Bailey Cadamarche situation? Um, because remember, remember now, people, because he would have gotten the confirmation from Bailey Cadamarche. And then no, two twos, nothing there, gone gone with England. Or would have handled it and build the situation a bit different. Uh, maybe not by suspending, maybe something else. Or you just stuck by a decision, the suspension decision, and also no phone call, not not, not trying to get the player back. And stuck by a decision. Tell us what you think in the comment section, people. Big up on yourself. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're here for the first time. I'll see you guys again. MG Sports TV. Or out. God bless. Boom.